How do I start this? Are you recording, Kirby? <clears throat> okay, great. Hi, everybody! It's time for another totally awesome episode of Star Kid Spotlight. See what is it? Yeah. Yeah. Even though the song barely was in this musical, it's okay. But, um, <laughs> hi, all right, we're back again with my friends. And it's... What? I said we're back again with my friends. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're my friends. You're both my friends. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Kirby, why are you so quiet? I'm a bystander I'm here. The wa I'm the wash. <laughs> the banana exploded in the <laughs> Kirby fans saw a Fortnite clip, and yeah. I don't... <laughs> I don't it's, get it. It's, it's just it's a, funny. It's because the <laughs> banana exploded and this happened. We're the, recording the, on St. Patrick's Day where this trailer happened, apparently. And, okay. Um, a lot of stuff has been going on, but more importantly, we are recording our episode of Star Kids Spotlight, where we are talking yeah. about the third Star Kid musical on YouTube and and the second of the Very Potter series, and we are talking about a Very Potter sequel. That is correct. I am the wash. I we already did this. We did this already. I'm not gonna talk about the banana again. <laughs> I we watched this and yes. we we're gonna talk about it. And this was an interesting time because they're like in a bunch of different parts. That's like ten minutes length because that's what it was like back in YouTube. Um yeah. you don't really realize how long they truly are all at once. And I didn't realize until we start after this that I was like, oh, wait, this is three and a half hours. <laughs> yes, this is by far the longest thing we've ever covered. Yes. I, I did not think that it would be longer than Seventh Samurai and uh, <laughs> Avengers Endgame. Like, I thought that was going to be the longest thing we've ever covered if we ever did something Marvel. But no, it turns out it's a very Potter sequel. <laughs> And please, I really hope this is the longest thing we'll ever have to cover. Because <laughs> <We'll laughs> uh, honestly, thank God for the intermission. Oh, yes. With that, I, I don't know how I would have been able to like squeeze this in. I, 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 as a kid, watched this all at once, multiple times. I, wait, I, I, I put so many hours into watching this musical and rewatching and rewatching it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, uh, I, and I and I didn't take a break with this. I did. I no wait. I did take a break. I did take a break when rewatching it. But I'll get to that with my experience with the film. Well, so, actually, you already got started. So why don't you? All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I guess, um, I guess. I guess. All right. Um. So I I was around when this first premiered. I remember talking to my community theater friends. We were in a production of like either it was Wizard of Oz or Annie. I don't remember or Big the Musical. One of those. I don't remember. And we were just excited, like, oh my god, Harry Very Potter sequel is gonna premiere tonight. And I'm like, oh my god, it had it's happening. So it premiered as soon as it did. Like I was like refreshing the YouTube page, waiting <laughs> for it. <laughs> the, 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 oh, good days, the good old days. The good old days. Those were so nice. It's such a nice memory of just having to like keep refreshing in hope for an update. Aww. Exactly. <laughs> that was me back in the day. That was little rando. And um, uh, I and then it happened, and I was like, oh. Or I and I wa I think I stayed up all night watching it, um, because <laughs> it came out like late. I don't remember those details, and I thought it was great. I thought it was better than the first one. I there's so many things I I really really liked it. I didn't even notice the time it drained out of me. Like I didn't. It did not feel like three hours when I first watched it. It mm. did not. Um, and I would watch it multiple multiple times. I think I watched it more than a Harry Potter musical. Now that I think about it, I think I enjoyed it a, this a lot more. Um, okay. Because I thought they, they put more effort into it. This, there was a set and kind of. There's editing, which is surprising. Editing, to see. Yes, and good <laughs> cinema, better cinematography. Yeah. Uh, and um, I, don't, I don't know if this was just me, but I could hear them better this time. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. I don't think they did not have microphones. Trust me. Uh, and if they well, did, no, but I could. It's the, it's been like a gradual increase. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They're, they're and... getting better at the audio mixing. Uh, funny enough, uh, I don't want to uh, interrupt, but like right before we were getting started, I went to have a listen to a very Star Kid album. It sounds like ass. <laughs> it sounds so bad. Like the the audio quality on that is like horrendous i think they're, they're like recording straight from the stage and they sound worse than they do in the youtube videos this is that's saying something anyway uh, go ahead again they probably just use their school's equipment for all probably. that we know um uh, anyway like that. but that was basically i just remember rewatching and rewatching it and then once other star kid musicals came out i rewatched them instead um we'll get to those <laughs> when we get to those um, and I just really liked it. And then we event and then I rewatched it again for this. Um, I was going to watch it all at once, but then I remember realized the three hours like, oh, wait, I probably can't. So what I did was I watched the first half. I bought Spider-Man Far From Home. Watch that. <laughs> <laughs> what? And then I watched the rest of Harry Potter sequel. <laughs> what? That's a hell of an intermission. I my my intermission was uh, I walked it the next day. Yeah, I was, I was just gonna say my intermission was going to bed. <laughs> yeah, it was going to bed, getting up, going to work, and then uh, doing some other stuff, and then eventually I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I should probably get to that. Yeah, I was, I was, I had time. I finished Wandavision also this week, so I was oh, like, I was in the yeah. Marvel kick. So I was like, and, Mar uh, and Far From Home was the only one I haven't seen yet. So I was like, you know what? I got time. I need okay. a break from a very Potter sequel. Let's just yeah, let's still got time. It. Yeah, yeah. I, I still got time. <laughs> <laughs> Makes our perspective never dies. But yeah, that's my experience with um, a very Potter sequel. I, I like that it's like, oh, I don't have time to watch this three and a half hour musical. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll watch the first half, then watch a two hour film and then watch the second half. I'm not gonna lie, it was mostly because of the Marvel kick. I probably okay. if, if I, I I really wanted to watch a Marvel movie. That's bad, that's bad. Um All right. Yeah. So and that's pretty much your experiences with watching this film, just watching it and and going to sleep and then watching the rest of it. Yeah. I have no unlike the 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 uh, the first and second one was like, oh yeah, I did watch like part of the first uh, video. I have no, I've never seen this before. Yeah, and Kirby, same. Uh, yeah, I have no memory of watching this. I I think it's because I tried to get both of you maybe to watch the first one, and since you didn't watch the first one, I was like, I'm not gonna even bother trying to get them to watch the second one. <laughs> yeah, and you, well, there's and, one coming up that I know you've tried to get us to watch. Oh, many we'll times. get yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, get to that it. one. We'll get to that one. We'll get um, to that one. Um, and, and you definitely do need to watch the first one to make sense of this one. Oh yes, without a doubt. And because that's, I, ironically, this is a prequel. This is not <laughs> a sequel. <laughs> yes, but we'll get to that with our plot synopsis. Who wants to go? Oh. Uh, who who did it last time? Was it was it? Uh, oh, it, it, was was rancid, it? it was rancid. It was rancid. It was rancid. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I guess I'll go for it. Um, so the to to recap from uh very Potter musical. Um, Dumbledore, not Dumbledore. Voldemort loses. <laughs> well, D Dumbledore well, so loses Dumbledore. in his own way. He 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 dies. He dies. Yeah, he goes off in his own way. <laughs> but uh, Voldemort loses. And uh, a character that we never saw before, uh, um, previously Lucius Malfoy, father of Draco, um, devises a plan to use time travel to go back to one year before, uh, in, in, in this case being Harry Potter's first year, and try to destroy Harry, uh, Harry Potter so that uh, she doesn't defeat Voldemort. Uh, but then, uh, that actually takes a backseat, and it just becomes, uh, uh, Goblet of Fire, the book Goblet of Fire, and, and then... No. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt. It? Hold on. I'm sorry. 
Oh, prison. Was it prisoner of? It was prisoner, prisoner of Azkaban, Azkaban Order of the also, Phoenix, uh, Order of the Phoenix, and Look. a bit of Sorcerer's Stone mixed in there. And um, but it's mostly <laughs> there, Prisoner there of Azkaban, and Order of the Phoenix. There was more Sorcerer's Stone in the first one than there was in this one. No, there, there was. There was some the, the sorcerer. All the beginning moments were kind of sorcerer stone, but the rest it was both basically just order the. But Phoenix. like the, the core plot, uh, what like the the stuff with Quirrell and Voldemort, that that stuff uh, is is not here, which is very sad. Yes, um, I know. Like, yeah, I guess let's get that out of the way first. Uh, best thing about about the first is just the. Uh, I guess they said we'll top it. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Quirrell's, Quirrell's not in it at all. I know this is skipping ahead, but uh, I, w- I popped off at the cameo at the yes. end. Yes! <laughs> I was like, oh! <laughs> I like, popped I, off. I actually, like, stood up. Yeah, honestly, it's like, when that, when that happened, it was like, oh, oh. <laughs> That's the last we're gonna see of him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've only got, like, five minutes left. <laughs> exactly yeah it was literally just like a single joke a single line i don't think he and even had his makeup on but i mean he I'm had a blame. little bit but barely enough J- just enough to register that that's voldemort yes yeah. it was a cute little <laughs> well, easter egg i mean if you had watched the first one then you would know that voldemort was hiding in a zach efron poster <laughs> yes a zach efron post oh no no not that that wasn't the zach efron poster that was the taylor lot no no no, he- no it was it was hold on let me clarify <laughs> Originally, it was a Zac Efron poster. Then a character we haven't named yet, who we'll get to, replaces yes. it with a Taylor Lautner poster. Correct. Then Dumbledore puts back the Zephron poster, and then we get the cameo. Yeah. But, but, no, but I was going to say that we're, since we're talking about the poster, the gag that they have with that poster, the accidental gag, actually. <laughs> oh, my God. Was was did generally like that? That made me laugh. But <laughs> maybe we'll maybe you can save that for later. Oh yeah, we'll save it. There's a lot to talk about. And but yeah, yeah, that's the, that was the whole plot of it. Really, it's it's just it's just like uh, a couple, uh, uh, much like the first one combined several different books. This one combines several different ones. But in, I say it's a prequel because it is set it uh, set one year before. But at the same time, it's also a midquel if you like reading the books because again, it's like like the last one took uh, elements from. The first and final book. This one kind of takes a bunch of the b- uh, books in the middle. Yeah, as uh, it's kind of guess it, it it can get kind of confusing. Mostly, uh, Prisoner of Azkaban and Order of the Phoenix. That's basically it. Um, yeah. well, no, no, no. They do. Uh, they they employ a very interesting strategy in order to make sure that you don't get lost. Do you know what they do? Nothing. <laughs> this play is nothing and nothing happens <laughs> so little like i literally like like when it was when i was getting into uh starting up act two i was like where's lucius what the f- what, what was this whole play- where was the time what was the time thing not, we like, just no established that. like the first part finished like the youtube video like they had that introductory song and i'm like i'm into this yeah and then, it, a- and then we- act one ended and i'm like what happened? Nothing. Nothing is happening. <laughs> no, it was just it was it was so much like set up. To can what? Just, can I just say that opening Go song ahead. had be prepared energy, and I loved it so much. <laughs> oh, I think I I think I felt something like that. Um, yeah, yeah. The, it was the, the big villain song. It was great. Um, it's the it, the uh, guy. Uh, we we've met him before. The oh yeah, uh, the he guy played. Who played uh, what's his name? Hold on. He played Cedric. Tyler, uh, uh Brunsman. Yes. Uh, who played, uh, Cedric. From, yeah, he played Cedric from the, 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 uh, the Hufflepuff that was like, we're good at finding things or whatever. Um, the, uh, so he comes back, he does, a does his best ballet with, you know, grant, granted him, uh, with the, with legs like those, I, I would show off, uh, too. Yep. Um, and he, d- he does a good job playing Lucius. Yeah, uh, do do we want to start with new characters or do we want to start with old ones? Um, uh, if we're gonna start with old ones, then I think that there's like a certain elephant in the room that we have to address all over again. What uh, What do you mean by old characters? There's you mean actually old actors? multiple char- There's multiple characters that actually come to mind when you say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, let's start with. Um, I have a question for you guys. Yes. 
um, that involves How are you going to start character. with the most painful one right away? Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm not, now, now I'm trying to figure out which one's the most painful. <laughs> I, oh, I've, got, I've, got, I've got a hard answer. I know which one, but um, I want to see. I was just going to say, um, what are your thoughts on Harry Potter this time? Okay, all right. You're not ripping the mandate off right away. Good. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, actually, I will say uh, what this play does that neither of their previous two did uh, is contextualize why Harry is a jerk. And the funny thing is that in this play, Harry is not a jerk. Yeah, yeah. right? He's they not a jerk, but it. they do such a good job of contextualizing, like, oh, this is why this kid becomes such a snob, but he's never a snob. The, <laughs> like, it, a just, it just, it, like, the first one annoys me a little more now. <laughs> they see what Harry was like in this one, and it's like, this is much better. The, there were, like, a couple moments where it was like, I'm Harry Potter, like, yeah, but... I think they were, like, more towards the end, and, like, throughout it, it's just, like, he's just a kid who's lost in this brand new school. Like, yeah. again, like, we're doing Sorcerer's Stone. Like, why wasn't this in Sorcerer's Stone? Why were they doing, like, oh, we're back in school? It's like, like, this stud, this stud is, is uh, characters from the top. Why uh, not? I, I don't know why. I think they thought it was just better to get back to Hogwarts for the first of Harry Potter musical. Because I guess they, I don't know. It was um, weird. I, 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 since you're mentioning that song, it was weird that like at the end they bring that song. I know they bring that song up for the crowd and like the whole crowd is like woo. But also at the same time, that song does not make sense because they're not going back to Hogwarts. They're going no. to summer. They, it was literally just for fan service. It was L just fan service. <laughs> literally. Um. Yeah. But yeah, I noticed that Harry Potter was a lot more likable in this one, but by, by far compared to a very by, Potter by a landslide. Um, like, I think they really worked so that he wasn't a, an ass in this one. Because I'm not gonna lie, you were right, he was a bit of an asshole, but, um, they were trying to do, like, I guess a likable asshole, but that did not work. With this one, Harry has some, like, serious moments, too, like, um, uh, the whole song, To Have a Home, holy crap, that, that, that song gets oh, to me every time. Yeah. yeah, there's, there's a lot more emotion in general in this one than in the previous two. Like, we're not even gonna talk about the last one. But the first one, they were, like, half-baked. But, but here, yeah. I, I felt there was an actual effort for there to be... Like, it wasn't just some silly nonsense, and they were trying to make it not... Like, it's more than just oh. silly nonsense, but it's actually just silly nonsense. Like, this one, they're actually trying and pulling it off. The, the, they're doing actual characterization. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was reading, like, an a, a interview with, from, uh, uh, with uh, Darren Chris, who's one of the writers of this, and he says that, like, only like unlike the uh the the first one, which kind of cannibalized a ton of different songs. This one, I th I think he said there's only two songs that, or maybe three songs that uh were were uh, from pre-existence uh uh work, and the rest of it he like he he uh, wrote it all in in a span of a month, like just blasting through. Yeah, and and I can feel that where where they they have much more um. The, 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 there's a much more of a through line to them. It's, it's not just like jumping all over the place. There, there's, there's something there. Uh, they put more effort into this one. And mm -hmm. they, I think they put more time into it too. Like they were given a lot more time to work on this. Because they wanted to make something bigger and better. And I, I, I think they succeeded with, with Potter. Um, it definitely, uh, we with Harry, yeah, they definitely made Harry better. I agree. Yeah. Um, yeah. I also like the little nods they put in to like the Starkey musical because they kind of explain some things, like the fact of why Ron wears a headband in a very Potter musical. This is the third, like, this is the, the third uh, musical in a row where Joe Richter is wearing a headband. And at this point, I'm wondering, is that just Joey Richter's thing? That he just like wearing headbands? I, I don't think he wears one in the next one. But okay. don't quote me oh, on that. Oh, that's disappointing. I don't remember! <laughs> because right, I'm not well, looking at I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for your headband, Joey Richter. But the fact that they actually incorporate into the story is just like kind of cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's true. I think probably my biggest, probably my biggest laugh of the whole thing. It's like when Harry and Ron first meet. He takes out what are they, the red vines. He takes red out vines. a red vine. He looks oh, at the God. camera and he's like, "Red vine," and like it's funny. But then red vines become like central to the plot. Which they might as well have been in the first one, so it, like, it makes sense. Uh, can I just say, we've heard of Chekhov's gun and Chekhov's gag, but I think Starkid has created Chekhov's sponsor. 
Yes, I'm gonna mention. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Absolutely. I was thinking. That was what I was thinking about the entire time, and it, it's funny because it is central to the plot. This, these There's a lot of uh, ripoffs uh, <laughs> that has helped make the show what it is. I guess um, they because Harry and and Ron bond over it. Um, Ron yeah. uses it to try and like um, befriend Hermione near the end. And there's, of course, there's, there's, big, the, there's the scene there's with the... Big uh, portion, there's a big portion of the musical where, like, nobody's in the mood for Red Vine, and Ron is, like, so pissed off. <laughs> and you know what? I'm, I, I'm with everybody else. I don't care for Red Vines at all. <laughs> I, I honestly never even heard of them until this They're musical. like Twizzlers. They're like Twizzlers. Right? They're, they're Twizzlers, yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, yeah. yeah. But I, I believe me, I was look, little Rando was looking at the grocery store for Red Vines. <laughs> the show. Mom, I can't find red vines. Why go find Twizzlers? And now we've seen that Chekhov's sponsor had worked on random. It did. It did. <laughs> oh my god! And I remember we you mentioned like something about red vines in the earlier in like a very Potter musical because, episode. Yeah, well, and when I, I went on their like, website, we'll there. There. yeah, for a sponsor. They did decently well with it. They had fun it was, with it. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. I liked it. And one, I didn't much care for it, but you know, it, at the end, it was like fine. <laughs> Especially with the uh, the confrontation with the Peter Pettigrew, where it it was clear that there was that that like the the actor who's this is his debut, even though he's like a uh, a regular writer, uh, yeah. Nick Lang. Nick Lang, yeah, that was yeah, his yeah. first role. Yeah, that was his first, and it's very clear that like he's. I, I, it doesn't seem like he's as comfortable yet with, with acting because, like, during that that conversation with the Red Vine, like, he couldn't stop smiling because he knows that he has to, like, do the bite and, and, and bite on somebody else's Red Vine and just be, like, really, ah, uh, just be, like, really awkward. Yeah. It's okay. I noticed, I, I, did, I did notice a couple instances where the actors were, like, kind of holding back smiles or kind of laughing. I did, I did notice at least uh, one more of the- than the other, well, I don't know about the last one. I didn't really care. But the first one, I noticed more instances. The, there was at least one character th- who we'll talk about that could not stop looking directly into the camera. Like, could not stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll I'm talk about. To, I'm trying to think who that might be, but. We'll, we'll talk about her soon enough. Don't you worry. Okay. Um, uh, anything to say about Ron? Because we uh, kind of talked about him. Fine? Red Vine? <laughs> I mean, that's literally all I have to really say. Is, is I mean, I, like the red I, I vine. think they made him a bit more likable, too. Not as likable as it, Harry, it's not, but they, 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 it worked. I don't think it's, it's that they make him uh, more likable, but less unlikable. Yeah. It's like they, <laughs> he's still, he still is a jerk to Hermione and, and a couple other characters. They, they're st- they still do the thanks, Hermione jo- uh, joke from before. But it's they just do a hell of a lot less of that, and at the end, like Ron just gives the inspirational speech to Hermione, which uh, also, also involves Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, which also involves Spider Man three. Uh, well, well, the Spider Man can watch. Yeah, uh, to be fair, but um, that's also I watch why I watch Spider Man Far From Home in between. <laughs> but that that, ha- that well, hold on because that that happened in Act Two. Don't you I, don't you I, start. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Random has seen this play before. Oh, okay, have. that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, that's really all I have to say about Rod. Although, he did a good job. I will point this out again. I think Wash pointed it out last time. Like the first couple, oh, shut up, Hermione, or whatever. The audience was laughing, but by like the fifth one, like you, you're lucky to get a chuckle. Yeah. Oh yeah, and and I'll also talk about like trying to get the audience to chuckle with a certain character. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, who next? Um, Hermione. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess I guess like they 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 gave her moments where she was being like annoying. I guess I still don't think it really. Uh, makes valid all the terrible things that people say about her. Oh yeah, I agree. Yeah, but there is at least there there is an effort, which is definitely more than I could say about what we've been watching. The the she has her own song of like I'm I, I'm fucking awesome, and well, she that's, also that's, that's that's like she needs that. Yes, yes, like because that yeah. was at the point where I was like, oh my god, they're being 
Like, there was at the point where they were doing the Hermione Can Draw song, and that was the point where, at first, like, when I was younger, I was like, oh, ha, ha, they're doing it. And now I'm just like, oh, God, okay. Can you just give her yeah, a moment, I, please? Yeah, just- I, it was, it, like, when, when I was getting to that point, especially with a certain character, uh, it, it was like, oh, God, this is getting really mean-spirited. Um, especially, especially when, like, uh, a, a character, a serious black, who we'll talk about soon, uh, it was like people were making fun of Sirius, and then he he's, uh, he's just like, "Hey, Hermione can't draw, remember?" Uh, and it's like, "Oh man!" No, that wasn't serious. That was Lupin. Oh, Lupin! Yes. I missed them up. I mixed them up because of, it, uh, I understand. Anyway. <laughs> I understand. Um, anyway, that the coolest girl song was so needed for her character, and it's really weird to think that Hermione did not have her own song in a very Potter musical. No, because they were too busy ragging on her. Yeah, yeah they, they just kept shitting on her and saying thanks for mine and like, god damn. Yeah, like even Granger Danger where you think she would sing at least a verse. No, nothing. So hearing The Coolest Girl, that was the song I forgot about. And I was like, why the hell did I forget about this? Because it's a good song. And it demonstrates Hermione saying, fuck you, I'm gonna do mm. what I wanna do and I'm gonna blow you guys out of the water. And whether you like it or not, I'm going to be the coolest girl. And don't yeah. you tell me otherwise. And I'm like, yes! Oh and, my and that, god! <laughs> and that, that, that pays off later when it's like she has that, that fear of becoming a certain character. And then uh, Ron is the one to say, like, like you're, you're it's Spider-Man and Venom. <laughs> and, and it's like, you're, you, can, uh, you can do better uh, uh, th- than that. And it's like, okay, that's, that's nice. There we yeah. go. It's... Plot kind of kind of makes it weird that you know the sequel starts with him hating her and everything, but yeah, whatever. The- that's a problem with the sequel. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, the prequel. Whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Again, they weren't thinking of making a sequel when they made a Harry Potter musical. They were not. So I, I, I believe that one hundred percent. Especially do- with how the, the especially with how the first one like tells the entire story of Harry Potter, and then it's like, yeah, oh, we gotta do a sequel. You might not have been thinking too much with the first one to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, but they, I again with the trio, that was one of your main, one of you guys, and honestly, one of mine main problems with the first musicals that the trio wasn't that likable. At all, and in fact, you were rooting for Voldemort, and which I understand. I, oh, I'd still be rooting for Voldemort if he was the villain here. Um, hey, don't get I, me wrong, yeah. but you could at least say that you enjoyed the presence of these three more. Mm. Uh, Harry, at least. All right, I think they were the, still a bit too mean to Hermione, and outside of Red Vines, I don't think Ron really like did enough. That was like, oh yeah, but I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you Harry, I'll give you Harry at least. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I don't I don't feel like either uh, Ron or Hermione made much of an impression this time around. They're not bad. They're not they're not worse than than the than the yeah. original certainly. Yeah. Uh, but oh, okay. They, the original just... I actively didn't want them around here. It's it's whatever. Yeah. yeah like if whatever. they're not here, whatever. <laughs> but it's not active distaste. Uh, I'm going yeah. down the cast list. Um. Uh. Speaking of people who you guys did enjoy though, Draco Malfoy. Oh no. Uh, here we go. Oh no. So okay. So the, uh, before uh, we get to uh, what Kirby fan is about to say, I'm sure. Um, can I can I just uh, point out because uh, I I wanted to say speaking of characters that we didn't hear hear singing before, it was so weird to hear like like the uh, like uh, the the affected uh, British voice. And then when Draco starts uh, singing, it's just such a soprano. Yeah. It's just so high. I could barely hear him. <laughs> well, Draco is played by a woman, Lauren yeah, Lopez. Sure, and, sure. It's, <laughs> and while Joe Walker will sing in character, some singers don't. And um, I guess it's hard to sing with a British accent. <laughs> at least with at least at a high note like that. Because you hear... I think in a Harry Potter musical, you hear Lauren sing with the British accent, but they're like more talking singing in a Harry mm. Potter musical. This one, they're doing like high notes and shit. Yeah, so real high like, notes. Wow. So, yeah. Great singer. I'm not going to lie. They're great. They're a decent singer, but yeah. it's just, it, I can understand the contrast. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're still doing the same amount of uh, uh, dance moves that they did before. Unfortunately, they decided to bring in um, a joke. <laughs> oh, oh, it I'm, hurts! I'm it little... hurts thinking about this. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm. I, I don't quite follow. I could be many things. 
uh, Kobe fan. Uh, oh. you're, you're more of the diaper random. What else? <laughs> the diaper okay. random. <laughs> okay, I, I, uh, yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> Awful. Awful. <laughs> it's not. It's not only is it just like extremely mean. It's just not funny. It's just not. There, there's a bit where where like Draco describes for like two minutes, maybe like five, about using the toilet for the first time. And like not the 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 funny thing about it is is, is that neither of the goons that Draco is with uh, like say anything or even seem to acknowledge <laughs> what he's saying. Even <laughs> they're, they're just like staring. The, yeah, they're just that loyal to him. Yeah, Goyle is just like he's he's just staring. He's not nodding. He's he's just, he's just look, looking. He's like, okay, let's move on. Um, but but like the actual like description of it is like, oh god, stop. And and of course, at the and end, it was there and there and it it was there for so much of this three and a half hour long <laughs> production. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Some Draco monologues could have been cut. Um, I mean, I still love the character. Well, I still like the character, and I still like Lauren Lopez's produ- like chewing the scenery of the character. Although they did not slither nearly as much, that made me I sad. I can't. I can't get into it because all the character is is where is a diaper. Thinks he knows how to use the bathroom, but lol. He doesn't. What did you think huh? about the What did you think about the twist with with Draco? Oh, that he came from the future. No, the one that uh his father. Oh, that he's to Dobby. <laughs> that he's Dobby. Oh, son. I don't know. I didn't know who that was. I was gonna. I, I was gonna say that like you have to know who Dobby is in order for that joke. Yeah, to I make had sense. no idea. I mean, they explained it, so it was like, oh, okay. But my yeah, initial reaction was just like, who? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dobby. Do- Dobby is the house elf. Which it, you might remember from the Chambers of Secret. Uh, it's just like the little, it's like a tiny short elf with like humongous pointy ears and big eyes. Um, yeah, big, pretty much. Yeah, and, and that's it. I, uh, Dobby uh, played a bigger role in the uh, in, in Ch- uh, Chambers of Secret, uh, and then he died. The end. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like, I mean, it wasn't funny. But he said Dobby, Draco was like, oh, and he goes, makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I'm like, no, who's Dobby? <laughs> <laughs> that's one of those things that's like, unfortunately, just. Well, for... no, like I, like I said, they explained it fine. I get the basic gist of it because they explained it. Yeah. I just thought it was funny that he's like, makes a lot of sense. And it's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense if you've, if you've read the book slash watched the movies. Um, and it's been um, a very long but time yeah, no, I hated Draco in this one. Like, unbelievable. <laughs> like, that was it, was it was it was like infant humor. It was so bad. <laughs> it's like they kind of didn't know what to do with him. I mean, they had a thing going at first, like when he introduced himself to Harry and was like, "Hello, Harry Potter. I'm a racist. My father hates you. Be my friend." I was like, "That's funny." <laughs> I'm, I'm, That's yeah, funny. I, you know, I, I can, I, I, especially in 2021, I can imagine someone like throwing a door open and being like, "I'm a racist." <laughs> <laughs> but it's just from I, there, it was just the diaper stuff. From the like, from the writer's standpoint, my guess is they really wanted to hammer that home so the twist could be a huge thing. And it was back in the day, like, I remember being like, oh my god, but I, I get it. I, I, I get it. Not, potty humor is, is a lot. And there's, and there's a lot. It's like all it is. Yeah, until the twi- and even after is. the twist, like, after the twist, he's still talking about it, and it's just like, oh, this wasn't a thing that was younger. Dra- like, now I look at the original, and I'm like, oh, th- this character doesn't know how to use the bathroom. And it's just like, oh. Like, like the oh, oh, actually, like because didn't they say that like in his uh, second year he finally learns how to use the potty? Like he's talked about uh, future Draco, like and I know how to use the potty. Uh, yeah, yeah, but he still thinks he knows how to use the potty now. I don't know. <laughs> I can understand why you're not into it. Other than that, but but it's but it's like why why am I even thinking about this? It's so like uh, not funny and good. All right, I, I was I was on, I'm on uh, I'm on your side with the uh. Thinking that they were just gonna do like I'm a I'm a racist want to be my friend. I thought they were gonna I thought they were gonna because they they alluded a little bit to that in the first one. Um, and then they uh Draco went went off on his own thing. 
And I thought they were just going to do that again, but didn't at all. Yeah. Uh, but to be fair, there's so much going on in this musical that I'm... Not really. Well, like... Nothing happens for, like, <laughs> two and a half hours. It, it, it's a lot of, like, that up? Yeah. But, but it, 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 is it, it set it, up? It, like, is it? Well, they, the like they acknowledge, the fact, they acknowledge they... the fact that Kidditch exists. Quidditch. They have like one practice. Well, it's not a practice session, but they have one almost practice session. And then they play the game. And that takes up like 10 combined minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and the, all, all that happens is like, which I thought was, was, was a bit funny, was, was like, the, the, uh, the, you, you can clearly see that the team is scoring multiple goals, and all Harry had to do was grab the snitch. And Honestly, they won. that's Harry Potter. That's Harry Potter. <laughs> that's Even Harry I know Potter. that's Harry Potter. <laughs> like, Quidditch is a badly designed game. Like, do you know, uh, oh, how, do you know how fucked football would be if all you had, <laughs> if there was just like, you had to score touchdowns, but there was just this like flying little baseball that, or just like this no, flying thing like that the people had to tackle and they instantly would win. Like, do you know how gypped that would be? Like, yeah, the, yeah it would be, it'd just be like the, uh, the, the, uh, I'm trying, I'm blanking on football names. I'm going to say the, the Washington football team, they keep scoring touchdowns and then Tom Brady just has to touch the ball and they win. <laughs> They just have to tackle like something. <laughs> no, not even. Yeah, not even tackle. Oh yeah, they get to like hike. Oh, we win. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, I always anyway. thought Quidditch was kind of weird like that. It, um, it was. Ne- it was never very. Oh, good, no. kind of Quidditch, but not really. Um, Jamie Lynn Beatty as Rita Skeeter, uh, the news reporter, uh, the reporter, pretty much. Um, oh, uh, can I just say it was refreshing to see her not play a nerdy girl? Um, that's true. Yeah. She- <laughs> That's true. There's like the second time with that, and she played. Uh, uh, she reprised the role of Guinea right at the start with with uh, Guinea uh, sucking Ginny. on her thumb. Yes. Uh, second, second on her, uh, with Ginny sucking on her thumb. Uh, and then, uh, then, then she just becomes the reporter for the for the whole rest of it, and it's, that's it. I, it's not really a whole, whole lot to say though, yeah, because but just, it's it's just something different for her to play, which is that's that's it's, fair. It's, I did have to like look nice it up again. to. to I did have to look it up to even recognize that that was uh, uh, Jamie Lynn Beatty. Um, but you know, it, it's she she did she did fine for the for the part, and uh, she was just mostly there for like gags. Yeah, God, this just made me realize how big this cast is. <laughs> the the cast I, I have the cast in uh, me too. In front of me. And so I, let's let's keep the pace going. Who next? Uh, I don't want to say who's up next. Uh, let's talk about Snape. Um. Oh yeah, uh, Joe Mosier uh, is back playing uh, Snape. Um, and you hear him sing. Yes. Is this the first time sing? you hear him it was, sing? It, it, was, it was also weird hearing him sing this time around. Um, I, I feel like the song that he... Uh, credit to him like for, for, actor, I, I, for acting. I did, like him, uh, uh, I did like him a lot, especially his how much he was tuning the scenery. I didn't much care for his singing voice in in his song. I didn't feel like he, I I, I didn't feel like he quite got it. I don't know. I, I I like the song guys like Potter, and I like the concept of it. But yeah. I understand. I don't think Joe Moses is as his, his strength is in singing, and that's why he plays the character actor of Snape. But they wanted to mm. give Snape an emotional moment, I guess. Uh, I guess, but the thing is, like, like it's this is especially becomes. Uh, I'm sure we'll talk about this, but uh, but this becomes the problem with this being a prequel when uh, Snape just becomes an asshole all over again in the original. Uh, yeah, the original yeah, that's a problem with that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, because it's basically oh, we're relearning everything all over again. That's a problem with a lot of prequel sequels. Like um, if you're gonna do if you're gonna do that, do it like uh like Randall from Martin University and just, and just have him be the that just, is be like, like the a first chump- thing that came to my mind when this was a prequel was actually Monsters University. <laughs> <laughs> but, like why not just have like a chummy like uh chummy snake that just becomes like ooh I hate you Harry Potter. Well, because that's <laughs> I'll give you an answer. It's not what happens in the books. Screw that. I know. <laughs> there's a lot in this I that know, is not happening. I know. I know. I wish they did some other things like that because 
they they take some liberties. Um, oh boy, do they, they take some liberties. Um, mm-hmm. uh, let's talk about Lupin. I guess he's next. Unless there's anything else uh, you want to say about Snape. Uh, well, I I I, I like Snape. That's that that's yeah. that's my oh, yeah. contribution to the conversation. Sure. I I oh yeah. no! If you want to say more, go ahead. No 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 no. Uh, well, I think what I have to say about Lupin. I mean, I guess it's not really about Lupin specifically. Um, but it did rub me the wrong way, I guess, is a, a, a good way to put it. Um, Are you talking about the joke that they did where, like, it was like he was coming on to a student? Oh, fuck that. I, I well, hated okay, that okay, joke. Okay, okay, okay. Let me, let me say that th- this, this is a rant, so you might think I'm going to be done. I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay. <laughs> um... So they contextualize many times that these are very young kids. Yes. When they say a bad yes. word, they cover their ears. Like, <laughs> that's how young these kids are. Yes, what Wash just brought up about the fact that he was basically telling a student that he wanted to have sex with her, even though the fact that she's so young, she covers her ear when she hears a swear word. They're canonically like, 11. No, 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 not done. Um, that's gross. <laughs> um, and then the fact that she's like, oh, yeah, you know, you're missing out. <laughs> That's gross. Oh my um, god. But like this this whole play has a problem where it doesn't know how old its characters are. Yeah. The the kids sometimes they'll act like kids. Like in the same scene in the span of like 5 minutes they'll be doing things like covering their ears, but then they'll be talking about how big their breasts are or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. Maybe like 8 and then when Draco <laughs> reveals that he's from the I wanted to bring this up before. But when Draco reveals that he's from the future, he's like, I'm from the far off year of 2009. Ha ha, funny joke. That's when the original came out. Ron says, that's one year from now. So what you're telling me is that the sequel happens a summer break away from this? So the characters in that one are also all kids? Well, <laughs> they ruined they, like this. I mean, obviously, you know, thinking about what happens in the next one, that's like, oh, you're nitpicking, whatever. I don't think I am, but I don't care. But it, it, it like this whole the whole thing where it's just like they never know how old their characters are. Like it, it ruined it. It ruined. I mean, on top of some other, like you know, I talked about Draco before. There's a a character we'll get to. Um, a lack of uh bi representation. Um, but this is like, it's just the the. It, it ruined it. It ruined it. I. I understand the frustration. She, she's not done. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, yeah, no, I was actually... I forgot I said I was going to play when I was done. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, sorry. I, 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 it didn't ruin it for me, but I understand. Because the way I see it is just like... Because I... They disregard it, so why should I even consider it? That's but, the mark of some really bad writing. The, but yeah, the, I know. The, especially the thing is that they, I'm pretty sure they mentioned multiple times that they're 11 years old. Yeah, it's weird. They're pre prepubescent, all yeah, of them. Yeah, like, I mean, even if they were 13, it would be disgusting. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, they're, they're not even 13. They <laughs> legally can't join Discord. That's how young <laughs> they are. <laughs> oh my god, that's the single best way I've ever heard that described. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm a moderator, Harry, so I have to, Harry, I have to deal Harry, with that a lot. Harry Potter can't even join Discord. <laughs> and apparently can that be the title the of the episode, please? He can't, he, can't, he can't in the sequel either. No. <laughs> or, what, like, the, he or, might what, be what, able, the original. Maybe senior year, we'll see. Okay, I, under, I understand your point. I guess... Yeah. I don't know. I guess they don't care. They, don't, they do not care they, about they, they that when it comes care. to the writing. And they, they don't care about pedophilia. Good to know. Oh. The, the, the thing is, like, and again, like, if, I mentioned if it was the, like the... a plot hole. I feel like fine, whatever. An adult teacher is hitting on an eleven-year-old. No, girl. no, that's, that's, that's not fucked. okay. That's and, and that's I, and it wasn't like just Lupin either. It wasn't. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Like, it I mean, was, I brought up that example, but like, there's more. There's more there's than at one least, instance. There, there's at least. Two teachers, there's two faculty members, Dumbledore and the one we'll talk about soon, that that have that exact joke. It's like, what are you doing? Yes. And it's and it's and it's like on top of that, <laughs> it's actually poorly written because the writers don't understand what age their characters are. <laughs> like even, even though the writers can't figure this stuff out. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, hello? <laughs> This, and again, it's they so, mentioned it's so basic and fundamental. Yeah. It just like, kept creeping hello? me off. <laughs> I'm just going to be quiet now. <laughs> um, how about that scarf of sexual preference? That was a, I don't know, that was an interesting callback that they made a throwaway joke in the first one, and they actually made puppets for in the second. I like that they made puppets. That's, that was, that oh, yeah. And, uh, and the old hat. Yeah. Like the sorting hat, that's a, that's a Harry Potter thing. Of course, they were going to do that. Yeah, the, yeah, but this sorting hat uh, proposes. Yes, and they get married at the end. That, yeah, they literally say in the musical that the that the the sorting hat and the scarf of sexual preference are are not in the musical because they got hitched together. See, it was a, see, it see, was a way. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Something. Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> Let me finish. It was obviously a way just they couldn't afford to make a puppet. So that was just a way of covering it. But the fact that they add it into this sequel is it's cute. It's, a, yeah, it's like, what I was. Sorry. sorry. That's it. No. Yeah. What I was going to say is that it's like, that's something that's stupid and dumb, but it's like good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I liked and, it. And I, I honestly, um, I hate that they probably, but they probably were not thinking about this stuff. They just were trying, and this is no excuse on their part. I'm not like trying to defend them by doing this. I'm just saying they just, they wanted to make a sequel to a very Potter and that was probably their main focus. And they made three hours of it. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be blunt here. I'm, I'm tearing this bandaid straight off. Uh, if they had to apologize for one thing, I get why they apologized for this, but it's like, I don't actually think it's even that was specifically as bad as the whole teacher child. Yeah. In, uh, even, even when I was, even though e they were far more than that, even, even when I was watching it as a kid, that joke rubbed me the wrong way. And I was just like, why, why? And I, but why are there more than one, why are there so many? I don't only remember one, but, I think, hold on, is there anyone, I mean, we haven't talked about Dumbledore, but that ties in with oh, the other yeah, character. But he's another one. Um, <laughs> um, is there anyone else? Oh, oh, wait, Cory Doris gets more of a character in this one. Yaxley, I'd say, is a better character. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, oh, the assistant guy. To, uh, yeah, the assistant, assistant to, uh, 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 to uh, Lucius. Yaxley. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, who who he played a uh, big T, and uh, I mean, see, I'll say that he he got a better part this time yeah, around. Yeah, it, yeah. They, he did it, a it lot didn't more than you think he would, because he actually I didn't even know he was in the movies, but because that's how oh, wow. that's how insignificant his part is in the movies. Yeah, so he he, he switches sides, and it, it it amounts to nothing. It's it, it didn't pay off in any real way when when he switches sides. But honestly, was he even he, in the play after he switched sides? Yes, for like yes, he, yes, he was in like the final round, like against oh, oh, the yeah, other character yeah, well, where everybody's there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I will say though, he even when before he switched sides, he has some great lines. Like there's a point where like um um there's a point where Draco shells all the Death Eaters their draw his drawing, and I think he actually says something like, "Is that cross stitching I detect or something like that?" And he's like getting really into it, and it's just yeah, funny. he's like, "Can I keep this?" Yeah, can I keep this? <laughs> oh, yeah, so, yeah. So, I don't remember what I said my biggest laugh of the movie was, but prop movie, oh my god, uh, the play movie. was, but probably my actual biggest laugh. Uh, it's after uh, Lucius knocks out Harry and takes it back to his base or whatever, and, like, Lucius is setting everything up. He's like, all right, you're, you do that <laughs> thing that you do with your hands. You guys do this with your arms and your legs. It might look weird now, but it's going to look really freaking good once Harry wakes up. And <laughs> Harry wakes up, and Lucius is giving this speech, and then you just see everybody in the back doing these weird dances. Yeah. And Lucius is, like, super into it. And yes, it's, yeah. I laughed. I don't know. Oh. I, I, I thought no, it was that was really great. Funny. That was great. It was seriously... Lucius is such a funny villain in this. He really I is. I wish he was in it more. Uh, we can talk yeah. about Lucius if you want. Um, yeah, he's he's he. It's a crime that he's not in this as much. Yeah, um, I, I think he needed to be in it more. It's like I, just just thinking about how. I mean, just from obviously, you know, Voldemort was all of our favorite things about the first one. But throwing that out the window, just looking at it from like a script perspective, how the story moved in the first one, and Voldemort was always there. You know, I I, I come back yeah. to this, and it's like you know, the villain is barely here. And, like, the story doesn't move. It just kind of meanders. 
And it's like, I feel like, like maybe a lot would have been fixed if Lucius was in the play more. Like, like it felt like, like Lucius, like Lucius is the driving force of the time travel and the big plot against Harry Potter. Yet he feels like a secondary villain. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Cause I'm not gonna lie. That song sets up. That that opening song slaps. Yeah, and you like, think, oh, was- great! Lucius is the main villain. Good choice. I was into it when that song ended. Yeah. Like I was ready for a Harry Potter sequel. And I mean, I guess, I guess I got a Harry Potter sequel <laughs> when they when they went to the uh, inside the train, and you see the uh, the uh, the candy lady uh, getting swapped out by a death leader. It's like, oh, okay, so they're gonna do time travel hijinks. They're gonna, like, replace... Never happens again. Never and they don't show up until... They, they, they don't show up until Act 2. <laughs> candy from the trolley. <laughs> oh, finally. <laughs> oh, my God. I... Oh! They brought back uh, Ron's... Going back to Ron, they brought back the Seinfeld noise, but, and they didn't overuse it, because they use it twice. No, three times, I think. Oh, and you know what I, that's it. I, I keep forgetting to bring this up. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I have to bring this up now or I'm going to forget it again. Yeah. What I actually yeah. do really like about Star Kid are their subtitles. Yes. Yes. I like their subtitles. They're very good. <laughs> the, the, uh, oh, God. What was the, there was, there was, oh, the, there was one where, um, a, a Draco gets a hug for her, from her minion, and then, uh, uh the, the, the sub, he, he, uh, he turns to Ron, and the subtitle says, Draco turns to Ron like a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I felt uh, like Netflix sub- uh, subtitle, just like way too uh, descriptive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the subtitles are really good. And I'm glad that they have subtitles, at least. Um, any other characters? Um, uh, I mean, we didn't really talk about Lupin, other than the creepy bit. Yeah, and I, mean, I good- thought he was like pretty whatever. Yeah, I thought he he had some decent moments in there, but they... I, if 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 I could if I can ignore the the creepy uh, 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 joke with, uh, with it, I wouldn't mind Rupin. I felt like he he uh, he played the part of the the cool teacher uh, uh, pretty well, and uh, just trying to coach these kids uh, to, with the with the Quidditch game. There's the the, the uh, pretty decent bit with, with um. Uh, does anybody hear um? Has anyone here played Quidditch? Silent. Uh, okay, has anyone here uh, caught, uh, 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 thrown a ball? And, and, and Ron, uh, uh, like, stretches out, uh, and is like, oh, no, I was just stretching. <laughs> that, was pretty, that was pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lupin, I will say, he has some character, because the, he's not, at least as far as I know, he's not a huge drunk in the, in the movies or books. He, he is a werewolf. Um, and he's, they, a, he's a werewolf, and he, he makes it. He makes a little. He forces a little kid to eat uh, a a, a yeah, rotten the, dead animal. Uh, that was. I don't know what. I, I think even the audience would just like. Yeah, nobody okay. really like laughed. They were like, oh, nobody they laughed like, at they that. Shocked, they, I guess. They, 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 they kept pushing on it, and the, the the audience was pretty damn quiet. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god! But even then, there's still some moments that I liked with um yeah, Lupin, a and I. And that's mostly due to Brian Holden's performance. Uh, I like, yeah, I, I, I like the actor. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, I would uh, say even for most of the, I will give credit where credit's due. These actors, I'd say, oh, um, I say every one of them, they go all out in their performances. Even like with the ensemble, like uh, the, like uh, Brian Rosenthal, Brittany Coleman, who play like Dean Thomas and Seamus, and play they play multiple parts. Um, mm. Lily Marks, uh, Richard Campbell, who plays Neville. Um, what's the guy's name? I don't remember what his name is, but I heard his voice. The one who talks like this. I I heard him and I'm like, that's where random got the voice from. <laughs> I think I got it. That guy? Yeah. I'm that's like, Nick that's Lang. where random gets the voice from when you do all the time. That's Nick <laughs> like, Lang. That's it. That, that's the one. That's Nick Lang. That's one of the writers. <laughs> oh, well, oh it, it that's Nick to be Lang. More comfortable in that he role played, than he played Peter, Peter Pettigrew. He played oh. Peter Pettigrew. Yeah, and he yeah. also he also play he also does the puppetry. He plays Scarfy and Sorty, and mm-hmm. he also played uh, Arthur Weasley. Uh, yep, at the very everybody yeah. say chocolate frogs. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like I thought you were doing a um. No, uh, I was I was doing King Candy impression. <laughs> they just sound very <laughs> yeah, similar. I, it, you sound almost exactly like this guy. 
I, yeah, that might, that yeah. might be subconscious. <laughs> um, uh, before we talk about the inevitable, um, Sirius Black, uh, because there's oh, not. Yeah. Really- oh yeah, uh, it was really nice to see that actor play a role that wasn't the other one. Yeah, it was nice. To, he's that, a good that, actor. I'm not gonna lie. No, I, agree. Just, I agree. I agree. I agree. He's a really good actor, and I, I, I'm I, gonna I'm gonna say straight up, like best song in this musical. Like, oh like, yes. Like this, it's, it's it's weird to come from um a very popular musical where there's a whole bunch of stuff that's just like joke, 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 and then you have one that is just completely. St- I think there was a there was a uh, there was a line that that Ron. Uh, we're, we're around a, 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 like he looks at the mirror. It's like I'm at the Willy Wonka chocolate factory, and her mind is turning into a blueberry. Uh, but but like beyond that, it's just a completely serious, sad song. And yeah, it, it, it works really damn well. I mean, like, that's the scene I think in Sorcerer's Stone, or maybe even um uh, uh, uh or no, the third think, one. Um, it might be. It might be. Uh, it might be Chambers, or it might be the third one. Yeah, I remember uh, it was Prisoner the- of Azkaban, because that the Marauder's uh, Mirror is something in Harry Potter. They could have been, they could have made a comedy out of this where he like sees something stupid, but no, they decided that actually like this is a serious moment. We're gonna make it a serious moment. Yeah, We're gonna have it, it to it, use it to introduce serious, n- no pun intended, and yeah. gr- and grow this character. And you yeah, know what? If, if it was done in one of the last two, I feel like that's what they would have done. But this one. Ironically, they seem to have thought things out a little bit more for some things, and it, it shows. It shows on, and on both on both ends of the spectrum. It shows. Mm-hmm. It. Uh, I think it's called the Lost Voices or something like that. It's a good uh, song. I oh god, those voices, those voices, those voices, those yes. voices. It's it's honestly one of the best songs in the whole soundtrack. It's, I, it's my favorite. I'd say that. Um, to have a, ho- I think to have a home beats it for me. Um, but there, there's one song that's close, but unfortunately, it involves a certain character. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get but, to that. But 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 was, serious, what serious, else is left? Um, well, a Dumbledore, but that and also involves a serious character. So, yeah. is there anything else you want to say about Sirius Black? Because well, I, mean, I have a couple thing things that to I say. Can think of is that it's like the only faculty member that wasn't problematic with was Snape. He was the only one that it's like I. I got to enjoy <laughs> Snape properly. No strings yeah. attached. I just liked him. <laughs> uh, I yeah. mean, Sirius wasn't a faculty member, but like, I... He, he was, was just, a faculty member. He was a teacher. Sirius? No. no uh, Snape. You, why? You're missing Snape. them up again. <laughs> yeah. Sirius... What? Uh, Sirius, we're talking about... I'm, we're talking about Sirius the Prisoner, although uh, Kirby did ma- mention Snape. And yes, yeah, I that, understand that's that. What, that's why I was mentioning, yeah. Yeah. Sirius is not a teacher. Yeah, Sirius isn't a teacher. Um, anyways, um, is oh, I, did Sirius I say Sirius? Not. Okay, fine. Yep. Sirius is the one who, uh, Harry finds them in the mirror scene. The you know, you know what? I, I, I think I get Sirius and Lupin and I guess Snape confused because like, it's been so long since I saw Prisoners of Azkaban and I honestly couldn't combine Lupin and Sirius together. And I, I can understand the- that. Well, Snape, Snape is very hard to get mixed up because he always talks like this. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fair. That's I, fair. Understand, but, like, I understand Lupin and Sirius, especially, yeah, especially since they, they're kind of a duo in the first, in the last two musicals they were in, they were a duo in the last one and they're a duo in this one a bit. Was Sirius a werewolf as well, or was no. it just no, just Lupin. okay? Wait, no, yes. Uh, in the what? books, in the movies, he was a werewolf, but he could like turn into a wolf on command. Where oh, uh, Lupin, not, not here, as someone who's not, yeah, seen, not here. Maybe, maybe it's better off you don't read the books because I didn't get very yeah. confused at all. <laughs> Honestly, um, it, he wasn't in this one. He was not in this one. He was just, he was just a good guy who got framed, um, and good friends with uh, uh, uh Harry Potter's parents. And he does yeah. play the role well, and he, he he's not the best singer, but he sings acts well, if that makes any sense. Like, you can feel oh. the emotion in his voice. Oh, uh, if, if, if we're going to talk about Sirius, uh, before we get to, to the certain someone, I, I think we should mention, like, uh, like one, one of the, uh, the big bright spots for me was uh, right before they go to, um, to, to the uh, Azkaban, um, well, they go to uh, a certain teacher's uh, office, and uh, and she has a Taylor Lautner poster, 
and uh, I, I forget what there was. They, they did something, and then they said, okay, let, uh, uh, we got to get going to, to, to Azkaban. Uh, and, uh, Ron, you, you take down that poster. Right. And, and, and Ron, you can see the actor, it's, it's, it's like struggling and like trying to like look around and trying to figure, figure this out. And the, the actors are still, are still doing their part. And then Ron is like, hurry up, Ron. And then Ron just uh, comes up and is like, it's, it's stuck on there with magic. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a happy accident. I yeah. love when that shit happened. That's, 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 happy like the one, and, that's the one instance where it's like, all right, they're laughing. It's it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it, it, and, and not just that, but like you can you can also tell that they like they they eventually go to to Azkaban. It's like wow, they got Taylor Lautner posters here too. <laughs> <laughs> like they actually started to incorporate it into the rest. Of, I think that like the uh, Peter Pettigrew who called himself Poster Boy at that point because because the the poster was still stuck there. <laughs> yeah, it goes down when Peter is introduced. So I, I yeah, like, yeah. I like <laughs> when Snape walks into this character that we're eventually going to talk about. Snape walks into her office and he sees that the poster was replaced and he goes, What happened to Efren? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, you horrid bitch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, such, yeah. It's so great. Yeah. But I went through literally all the cast members other than the ensemble. Um, I, I, and if, uh, yeah, it looks like we, we have about like 15 minutes left. 13, to, exactly. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's, let's rip off this band aid. Ugh. Joe Walker. Uh. Yeah, big yikes. <laughs> this was the this was the one that this was the one I was worried about. Yeah, Let this, me apply. This, this is this is the character that the writers apologized for. I I looked into this. And and I totally get why they apologized oh. for her because uh she was so fucking mean spirited. I mean, and also because of the transphobic jokes. Yes, yes. Um <laughs> let me provide some context about oh, Umbridge. No. Um the character Umbridge in the yeah. books and movies is a woman and mm -hmm. is the most hated character in all the Potter universe. Like, I remember everyone hates her guts. I hated her guts. And yeah, when I found out uh, she was going to be in the show, I was just like, oh, God, what are they going to do? Who's going to play her? What woman is going to play her? Because, like, is it going to be like Lauren Lopez? Is it going to be like Ginny since she's not in this one? And then I just remember. And, and you can even hear, what, like, when they mention Umbridge, you can hear the audience groan. That's how much people hate her. And I think what they were trying to do, the writers, and I'm not defending them when I say this, I think they were, what they were trying to do, they just thought, hey, wouldn't it be funny if Joe Walker just wore a dress? Do I think it's funny? So no. It's... it's it's more than just Joe Walker wearing. Oh, a I dress. know. Yeah, so, like, because this, this, this is my hot take on a surface level. Surface level, there's nothing too bad about this. Yes, it's and this, this, I, I guess that's why I'm a lot more like angered by the pedophilia. <laughs> that sounds so weird <laughs> to say, but like, it's. It, we'll talk about why it's bad, but I, I think this honestly was not my singular least favorite thing about the production as weird as that might sound it it, it, uh, it was for me because oh my god it, okay. oh, it was bad ignore it was bad I, I'm oh no it was bad it, it, like it's not the, it's not the, the very bottom it's like the number two yeah <laughs> like <laughs> ignoring the um and, and like like drag on its own can still work. I mean, oh like, yeah, it works. It, it yeah, works for I mean, Draco. Like they want, they want to get a, like the point across that it's like this is you know uh, a woman that's like no, it's like super serious. And if you're gonna do it yeah, over super, the top, like yeah, I like Joe Walker. Serious, super, like I, I will say straight up, I do actually think Joe Walker could work. Yeah. In fact, in fact, I, I'll, I'll give him credit for actually bulking up for the part. Like, like he's got the he's got the muscles for it. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, 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 it's it's it's. And I can see that they're trying to go for that sort of like, like what what if this this uh this mean teacher was Arnold Schwarzenegger? Um, yeah, that's pretty much what they were going for. I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like by by itself, it wasn't funny, but like it got but, so, it got like hurtful bad when Dumbledore entered the picture. Oh, that yes. was when I was like irredeemable, completely irredeemable. <laughs> It, and and like even if I can somehow ignore that, like 
you you can tell like how much the energy was getting sapped out yeah. of the room uh-huh. whenever whenever they they do like joking torture joking abuse and, and, and like just being like incredibly mean to to these students and i think they thought that that alone would be funny it never was yeah, no like not I, 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 she didn't make me laugh like once like if if something made no. me laugh it was somebody else like snape yeah. with the zach efron poster like i got a good laugh out of that but it had nothing to do with her no. Yeah, like, 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 like you, you, and you could tell, like, towards the, uh, towards the end of the uh, production, that uh, uh, Joe, Joe Walker, uh, God bless him, would re- would try and really would push in the do 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 really hard because he noticed that the audience really responded. It seems to be one of the only things that the audience responded to. <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, and like. So, so like wh- whenever there was the, there was the point where it's just like complete dead silence, he was just doing that to try to get, get to try to lighten up the mood, and it still was not working. No, it's no. Just, and yeah, I, I, I'm not I'm not gonna hold this against Joe Walker, and this isn't Voldemort bias talking. This this might be actor bias talking, but not <laughs> not Voldemort bias. I'm not gonna hold it against him. I think he was like the one thing about the character that I was like. Okay, I accept the. Like, if they did this with anyone else, it'd be worse. Oh God, it would be really bad. I st- uh, really oh, bad. Fuck. Well, okay, oh, okay. let me reword that. It would be like worse, even bad. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, the way they wrote the character, I don't think anyone else could play it. No, like, I mean they wrote the, it just the for person Joe. who was born to play the role still couldn't make it good. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. It was uh, like, just a- so offensively I- bad is like the nicest way I could think to put. Uh, it's like I, I remember, like we were talking about, like how like this me and my dick was just it was just way too hetero. When are we gonna get some? Oh wait, no, not like that, not like that. <laughs> go back, go back, <laughs> go back, go back, go back. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Go back, go back. Really, just, <laughs> skip, go back, and then skip. There were two. There were two things I was worried about when doing Star Kids Spotlight. One of them was the entire me and my dick, which we passed, and <laughs> this character, and. Yeah. And I We're was all like, so early. Yes, but I will say, <laughs> Dolores Umbridge does not come back in a very Potter senior year. That's oh, yeah, what I will say. There's a third one. I forgot. There is. Yeah, there is a third one. There is uh, a third one. We don't have to deal with that one right now. But I'm very Harry Pottered out. Yes, <laughs> I have a suspicion. I have a suspicion that they're just gonna bring back Voldemort because that worked the first time. Yeah, so I, we'll just do it again. I'm yeah. not gonna <laughs> confirm nor deny. Anyway, <laughs> um, but I will say, yeah, there. I, I I remember I thought Dolores was funny because I was just thinking of the surface level Joe Walker in a dress playing mm. the most hated character ever in Harry Potter. Yeah. But even then, there's some things that bugged me. Like I didn't like the song <laughs> that they sang. Uh, um, I, okay, the, so, the, the, the I, one with the Dementors, I mean. That one. Oh, you're, you're, you're talking about Stutter? Yes. I actually genuinely... <laughs> I didn't like Joe, how Joe Walker sang it. And when I listened to the album, it was having that same problem. Where it's like, this, this could bang if anyone else was singing it. But like, it's, he just didn't have the range for it. And you could tell that he was struggling to, yes. to, to perform this one. But like from the musical uh, aspect, of it, from the instrumental part, I I was having a uh, a good time. It, it's just again, if it could just be anyone else, especially because like this is in relation to like Dumbledore mis- the whole joke is Dumbledore mistaking Umbridge with um with a man. I didn't and think you just- were a woman. I thought you were a sexy man. It's gross. Oh, tire way through. Uh, and then the, the, there's that, that, uh, that movie, oh my god, uh, and, and it's like, oh, fuck, it's just so, uh, it's, it's, it's poorly handled, they apologize for a reason, <laughs> I, 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 like, even now when I was rewatching it, and I, 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 I still felt uncomfortable, and it's, yeah. it, it just made me, it just, no, no, and it's, it, again, Joe Walker is a very talented man. He's a very talented actor. And I 
And I'm glad you don't hold it against him, Kirby fan. No, I, but, I, would, I would never. Like, even, like, you know, what I was saying before with a lot of, like, the weird, creepy pedo stuff, like, not going to hold that against any of the actors. You know, they're, they're doing oh, their no, part. They're no. trying to make the best out of it. it it's not yeah. on them. Yeah. It's yes. not on them. They're on stage living the dream. It's not, I'm not going to get mad. There, there yeah. may be one character on stage who's to blame, and it's the and it's the writer who's making ma- multiple cameos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's two different writers. It's both the Nick Nick uh, and Lang. Uh, and Nick, and yeah, Matt. they're brothers. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So, and again, when you are an early, when this, they probably I don't know how long, much writing credits they've had, but. They, How long it, did they have to write this? I don't know. Cause that, cause if they didn't have that much time to write it, then that would explain uh, not everything. Um, but like, like parts. Like I, I, I think I, they were, they had more time than the last time, but they could have had as little as two weeks. So I, I don't I, know. The most I know is that uh, Darren Chris had a month to write uh the the write of the majority of the song. Um, and that's about it. It's so, like, what? Yeah. I can't imagine too much longer than that. You know what's not too much longer? The time. Three minutes. Um, also, Brittany oh. Cole. <laughs> okay. Well, um, okay. Um, is there anything else we want to say about Umbridge? Any positives? I never, I never want to talk about this character ever again. <laughs> Great. So bad. It was so, it was like, I, what I was going, I, I was, uh, watching the, the first act, it was like, oh, this isn't very good. I was watching the second act, it's like, when we get into Starship. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I, uh, it's just, I, I, it felt like I was like in a hostage situation. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to show you guys the magic of Star Kid. We'll, it gets we'll, better. We'll get, it, it does, I'm, at least I'm from what sure, I remember. I'm sure it's it, it's it's a hell of a journey to get to get there. Like, I, I'll I'll say this: the the, the character is is, uh, is worse than than me and my dick. Fairy Potter sequel is not. I, I was gonna save that for my final thoughts. But, yeah, uh, I, um, I can agree. I overall definitely like this far more than I like me and my dick. Um, I'll get oh, to my I final mean, like, thoughts or whatever I called it last time. I'm sorry. Yeah, whatever. Exactly. <laughs> Gumshoe. Um, also, I'm trying to think of anyone else that we may have not mentioned because Dumbledore is just Dumbledore. Well, That's you literally... went through. You said you went through the entire cast. I, uh, the, I except, J- except James the... Potter. Uh, that's uh, that's Brian Rosenthal, who, who was basically Quill. ensemble, um, and yeah. Dean Thomas who was Brittany Coleman. Who they do a good job with the roles. Brian Rosen- Rosenthal had more like the roles, while Brittany Coleman was just literally Dean instead like, of being Beltrix. I like this is one hundred percent a theater thing. You can't pull this off in any other medium and make it work. But when they time travel, they go into the past by an hour and they see. The, the people that aren't them playing the roles and the people that yes. they, get, they look nothing like the actors. <laughs> I <laughs> a, 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 loved that so that's much. So, it, it, it's a great, that, that's great sort of uh, theater stuff. I, I, and like you said, it can only work in theater the, it, because like you literally have to do that. Yeah, so exactly. like you might as well just, you might as well just go overboard. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it's ridiculous. The point. Nothing like them. Nothing. It was so <laughs> funny. <laughs> You literally see the act. You literally see Richard Richard Campbell, the actor who plays Neville, play Hermione. <laughs> like, 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 like Draco. I think is taller than the others. <laughs> yes, yes. Jim Pavolo, I think, plays Draco, and is so perfect. <laughs> so funny. It's so oh, funny. Oh, oh. Speaking of Goyle's, one of my favorite lines and favorite references to a show to anything um, is. Um, Jim Pavolo is Goyle just shouting, Who dares disturb my slumber? As their opening line. And I'm like, that's a reference to Aladdin, but just the fact that just screamed randomly made me smile. <laughs> you know what else oh, makes I, me I would... scream randomly? The timer. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, well, oh, right. I'm just happy that we all equally said every- a bunch of things. Yeah. Uh, not Rancid. Oh, we missed yeah, it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Rancid, what, 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 Rancid, what do you think you? about... Leave a comment below. <laughs> Leave a comment below. Leave anyway, a comment below. Final Thank thoughts. You for listening. Final thoughts. Who wants to go first? Uh, I can go first. Uh, I already the floor, said it. The floor is yours. I already said it earlier. Um, it, it's the the 
there were a lot of parts where it was like, oh, that's just so... Like, like we were talking before about like the, the pedophilia uh, jokes, it's like, that's just freaking icky. And Umbridge brought the whole thing down. Like, it was... It was a struggle to uh to get through. Fuck. <sighs> it 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 bummed me out. Uh, just trying to watch, it, especially like hearing the audience just like die. <laughs> like it's just, there's nothing out of them. Um, but like we talked, we talked before. It's like they they improve on the uh the main trio. Uh, they improve on um, they improve on a few of the of uh, a few of the songs, that m- making this more character driven, more serious, uh, a, a little more serious. It goes in its own bonkers way, uh, and I didn't care for the diaper jokes. That's all I got to say about that. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> somehow um, I'll go next, and since Kirby fan likes to go last, well, you've been uh, going last for these, right? I mean, it's okay. Yeah, I don't even yeah, remember. I, thought, I, I figured you were gonna go last for these because you know this. This is your thing. This you, oh, you yeah. are the expert. If unless right. unless you don't want to, if you don't want to, I'll go last. But if you do want to, it's your thing. I'll go next. You know what? I'll go last unless you guys really like. No, I want to go last for any reason. And okay. uh, I I don't think I don't think I have to. Um, I think you guys want to save this for some future productions. Maybe. So maybe. maybe. Anyway, uh, so uh, yes, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. <laughs> this one's tough. Uh, <laughs> one step forward, two steps back is like the closest way that I can push to p- piece my thoughts together. Um, mm-hmm. I've said my piece on with the whole Lupin rant, uh, which applies to people other than him. I want to get that point across. Uh, there are certain things. I don't know. I might not have seemed like too annoyed about Umbridge. There are certain things about me that I don't want people knowing that might be like, oh, well, that's kind of why. But uh, trust me, that was not good. I hated every minute of it. I might just not have been as exaggerated as I was with the Lupin and the general that whole shindig. Um, and again, just the idea that it's like, you know, they're like this is so poorly written that the writers can't remember how old their characters are like yeah. that is how basic of a fun like a fundamental level that this writing just does not work but there are improvements i think this is the first mm-hmm. time where we've like genuinely had likable not voldemort characters um <laughs> production's higher i can hear them a lot better uh probably has my favorite songs out of the three um, I I liked Lucius. Uh, Snape uh was actually a step up from what he was last time. He was probably my favorite mm. character in the whole thing. Um, I liked the scene where he was drinking with Harry, or he was drinking and Harry was there. I didn't like that he offered him beer, but he was drunk. It's like I I, I can accept that. I, and to be fair, he does take it away immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Harry goes to take one. He's like mine. <laughs> so this I wasn't planning. On doing this, Wash had a throwaway line in a uh, very Potter musical where he was like, I grade this as such. And ever since I've been like n- numerically grading. Yeah, numeric. <laughs> no, no, alphabetically. I'm sorry. Grading these in my head. Um, yeah. And I said D plus for very Potter musical. I'll stand by that. And hard F minus minus for me and my <laughs> dick. Um, I... I had a hard time. I didn't know whether this one was going to get a D minus or a high ranking F. And after we talked about it, I'm sorry, random, but I'm going with my gut here. Uh, high ranking F. I think there are improvements, okay. but the things that are sour and ugly about it, I don't think, I don't think there's enough good here to ignore that. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I understand. Yeah, I, I feel that. Which well, also uh, means that, random. yes, Harry Potter musical is still my favorite one of the three. That's surprising to me, um, but also not surprising because I understand. Um, for me, uh, production-wise, this is a better show. Um, you could tell that they spent more time with things. I don't know how much more, but um, they definitely did spend more time with it. Um, they 
perform all everyone gave their all on the performances. I I I like the trio a lot more. Um I like Snape, I like Lucius. Um I like a lot of the songs. Um I feel like I, there's like we didn't even talk about Harry freaking Potter, which is like a great opening number and um Oh, I agree. Yeah. It's 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 such a good one cuz like it shows like Harry realizing that he is famous and it doesn't make him he's not a jerkwad. He's just like, "Holy crap, this is cool." Um which is how any kid would be if they found this out. Yeah. Um uh we didn't talk about No Way or Days of Summer, which I honestly forgot about. <laughs> but uh but I like the songs a lot more in this one too. Um uh and but yes, this does have problems. Umbridge is a problem. Um Umbridge is a big problem. The things you mentioned, also a problem. Very big problem. And I understand that. Um however I in my gut I can't say that this is a very that a very Potter musical is better because Technically, it's not. Um, Performance-wise, it's not an emotional moment. Pacing-wise, it's not. So, like, like there's more emotional moments in sequel than there are in, in um musical. So, I, the fact that they actually take take some moments of seriousness in this, even if there's some moment, I just think this is better than the Harry Potter musical. Mm. Uh, before so, Wash gives their two cents on which is better, I just want to add one thing. Uh, yeah. these actors deserve so much better. I feel so bad <laughs> yeah. for these poor actors. <laughs> yeah. They're so good. They're trying so hard. They yeah. are so good. bad for them. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, uh, I would. I, I mean, we we uh, Kobe fan already mentioned before that like for the vast majority of the play, nothing happened. Um, and that's that's. That's not unfair. Like it's there's a whole lot of just like like standing around before they before they get to like the 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 major like plot plot points. It's like a lot of diaper jokes instead. Uh you keep uh, bringing that back up. <laughs> Kirby because, just wants like, to forget because about it. It's either it's either talking about that or talking about the single worst character. We could we could talk about um <sighs> Snape. I don't know. Snape is great. <laughs> I Snape love Snape. Yeah. yeah, hey, 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 hey random. Uh, can I go first for your pick a favorite actor thing? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cheat. I'm hard cheating here. <laughs> <laughs> well, let Wash finish what they yes, have to say yes, about of course. those rankings, and oh, we'll do our favorite actor. Oh, oh uh, if we're going to do ranking, then uh, are we doing well, ranking? Right not now? a real ranking for you guys. It's just like. It's a volunteering ranking for you. It's yeah, a real ranking uh, for me. Do you me. remember what Random did for Cinema Sun, uh, where he gave like a first impressions ranking? That's kind of yeah. what I'm oh, doing. That's what that's I'm fair. doing at least. Okay, yes. that's fair. That's fair. If if I were to give this a grade, I'm probably gonna go for a. What did I give? <laughs> what did I give? Uh, oh, oh yeah, for for me and my dick, I said uh, <laughs> it's just a teacher's note that said, "See me after class." Um, <laughs> for. <laughs> For very part of the sequel, I think I'm gonna go with a D, D minus. It, it might just be a, it might be be a flat. I, I'm, I, you know what? I'm leaning toward D minus because I also last less, uh, this the this time around than even me and my dick. Like uh, I, 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 I had uh, there were more scenes that I uh, laughed at. Like best best part of it was when the poster got stuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was pretty good. Okay. Kirby, you go first. Uh Joe Moses a Snape. I love it. I, I love it. <laughs> uh definitely my favorite thing about the production. Uh just his voice, the way the way he moves around, the way he tilts his head back. When you know it's serious and he tilts his head back. It's it, it's <laughs> great. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. I, and watch. I don't know. I don't know what kind of, because it's not really, he doesn't sound that much like Snape, so I'm just trying to figure out, like, what impression he's actually doing. Apparently yeah, whatever, he whatever, had a cold. Whatever makes people laugh. <laughs> I heard a rumor that he had a cold in the filming of a very Potter musical. No, that, I don't believe <laughs> no, that. You, I don't believe that either. Yeah, you'd be able be... to hear, like, his 
how struggling to breathe <laughs> you can be able to hear yeah. that with the yeah. mics and stuff yeah I, no, 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 no. i you, think it was just an exaggerated that. alan rickman impression that's pretty much it <laughs> i mean people um, laugh, maybe right? just like people it made, that. that's the did. important part um uh, okay for uh for me uh my favorite actor is joe walker and let me tell you why because this is a gag for my actual uh f- <laughs> favorite one <laughs> I was about to be like, okay. Uh, <laughs> my it was so one. dry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Joe uh, Walker's great. I just this isn't his best performance it, at all. No, yeah, no, 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 no. The, it, like even even when he was playing Dick, he was doing better than this. Um. Oh God. Um. I can name a couple of great act- people in this one. I'm looking at the. Li- I'm looking at my list. Uh. I I might go with um I might go with Brian Holden J- because like again I d- I did really like the the uh how how he played like the cool teaser type um okay I actually you know what uh I, I I'm gonna go with uh because I barely we barely mentioned him uh Tyler Bunsman as uh Lucius Malfoy ah um, nice that's the one uh, I was gonna pick. <laughs> <laughs> because uh it's, it's again like if he showed up more maybe this would work out again like if if he if they lean more on the on the the, the time travel hijinks this could have even become uh, more of its own story where, where it didn't really do that until like the very end um but yeah w- w- at least when he was showing up like he was chewing it up uh a, a, Dance twirling around, not even dancing. Just, just, <laughs> and, and it's, it, it, it's surprising. Oh my I, god! It, when when uh, the twist comes in and it's like, I, I, I'm not your father, because they lean pretty hard on on that. It's like it, it really should have just been that at all. I was just gonna say, I remember the moment where like. Uh, Draco just like you know what we had a good game and I'm gl- I had a lot of fun and then and the Death Years pick up Lucius and he just goes how dare you and then they're just oh, running at him. Him up. <laughs> I, that made me think of that. Um, the 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 costume design reminded me a lot of David Bowie from Labyrinth. Oh, they they that would had to be intentional. <laughs> I, I, I I I'm feeling that a uh, uh, real hard on that like like the, the especially the poofy poofy. Uh, 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 I don't even know what to call his garment. Uh, but his shirt and stuff. Like they they lean hard on that and it, good good one. Did did a good job. I just wish he show up more. Okay, all right, my turn. I was gonna pick Lucius, but I'm kind of glad you did because I'm gonna say Darren Chris because I feel like he has improved as Harry in okay. this play. Yeah, and I, I and I thought he was a lot more likable. I liked his singing a lot. And you know what? He wrote the songs. Yep. Oh, true. true. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. So I will yeah. give him, and these are one of my favorite things about this musical. So, Darren Chris, you get this. Hey, that, hey, that right. <laughs> uh, I, oh, oh. I right. will give, I will give a, an uh, honorary mention to maybe not the design. I mean, maybe not the character, but the design of Scarfy, I quite liked. The, the, I, the, I, the I like big the design beady. of the hat, too. Yeah, the puppets. Yeah, they, Stark they is really me good of, with puppets. I've noticed. They're was, I've noticed. really good with puppets. And it reminded me so much of Little Big Planet with those beady eyes. <laughs> yeah. or, or, like, or like Coraline. Like, like it, 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 it was nice. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, Star Kid does really well with puppets. And, and I'm so it, excited. Yes. Because next time we're mm. gonna be in a show with a lot of Star Kid puppets and more importantly, microphones. Ah, uh, I that's right. I finally got myself a second microphone so you can hear me in stereo. <laughs> can, can can we can we these poor Harry Potter actors? They go two plays of the three productions not having mics, and then the very next <laughs> one they get microphones. Yep. <laughs> These poor actors, I feel for them so much. They did their best, <laughs> and you know what? They get microphones this next time. At least I believe they do. 
Um, yes, they do. They do. They do get microphones in the next production, which I'm so, so excited to talk about is going to be mm-hmm. Starship. Um, I have a lot to say about this one, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold it in. And we'll be having a special guest as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, a, a new face. Uh, should I say who it is? We said who it was with last time. That's right, when true. It was Rancid, right? Our special guest is random bystander here. Oh, well, hi there, random bystander here. <laughs> oh my god, I, it's like I'm already here. Um, but uh, good random, you're here too early. <laughs> ah, ah, I need to leave. But first, uh, we will be joined by Anayume, uh, someone who you'll learn about next time. Uh, yes. and until next time, I'm random bystander here. I'm the Wash, and if you like what you've listened to, you can go check out our Twitter page uh, at WRK Podcast, and you can also uh, listen to our other episodes, including the the beloved Pixar perspective, Cinema Stan, and uh, that's about right in wrk.simplecast.com. Thank yes, you. thank you. And but I will say we don't have any red vines, so let's <laughs> let me redo that again. I'm sorry, <laughs> Wash. Thank you for that. Um, I'm I random- honestly would, would find we just continue with that, but okay, go ahead. I'm random bystander here. I'm the watch, and if you like what you listen to, I'm done. And this <laughs> is still not the red line of Star Kid. Are you not? Are you gonna do this every time until we get a red line? <laughs> but this is the red vines of Star Kid. Oh, my, oh my. Uh, pod, podcast over. We're never topping that. All right, we're done. Sorry, random. We're, we're not doing Starship. Sorry. No. <laughs>